All right, now we're going to work and concentrate on offline networking. In order to do this, we're going to have to build a list of potential companies. And this is where I want you to really take a proactive approach and build a massive list of companies that are in your area. And then we're going to show you how to filter them down and target and do some networking to, to start uncovering positions with these companies. Um, so our goal here at the very minimum is to build a list of 50 companies. So between 50 and 100 is nice. If you can do more, great. It all depends on your geographic location. So in order to do this, the kind of this this tool kind of will help you is to go to wikipedia.org. It's O-R-G. And if you've never used it before, it's just an online encyclopedia. It's got a lot of great and useful information. But for this example, what I want you to do is I want you to list or put in the search list of companies in and then put in the largest metropolitan location close to you. Uh, for example, I'm just going to put in Atlanta. And then it's going to give me, look at this, a uh, long list of companies here. And this is just to kind of get us started. And each of these actually has a page on Wikipedia that's very helpful. So as an example, we're just going to go to this Cox Communications. And look at this, all this information, history, uh, current locations. And it's just, there's some useful information over here. You've also got key people. You can learn a little bit more about some of the key people in the organization. And then what's most helpful is obviously the website. And then what you can do is navigate your way to the website, scroll all the way down, and in 99% of the cases you're going to be able to find a careers tab. So you're going to click on that careers section, and in that careers section you are going to be able to locate the exact page according to the type of positions you're looking for. Then what I want you to do is open up a free account step number two on watchthatpage.com watchthatpage.com and if you follow my blog you've heard me talk about this tip but basically watch that page what it does is it will grab uh, it will monitor web pages that you stick into the system under your user account and anytime a change is made it will notify you so you'll be notified the very second that a position is posted on a company you're trying to target it's very helpful I'm already logged into a kind of a demo account that I created uh, just to give you an example and here's just some pages that I kind of put in there and if I were to click on this one it'll show you how it automatically go right to there you go, right to the job search page. So anytime there's a position that's added onto this page on the company job board, I get notified in my email. It's great. It's a fantastic resource. So I want you to, to start to use this. So as you start grabbing these companies and you start building your list, go ahead and navigate to the uh, company career section. And if they have one, copy and paste that URL right into here, add it, and then you'll start building a list of companies that you are monitoring. So that's a big step. I, I want you to, to start to do that. The other thing that you can do is you can actually use LinkedIn. Let me show you this real quick. You can actually use LinkedIn uh, to add some more companies. So if you're on the Search People tab, if you go over here to Advanced, underneath Search People, and then you can of course search by keyword or certain titles or by industry so let's just choose accounting and then I'm going to choose a location and this is going to give me results within that location so when I search I'm going to get people who work in that industry now I'm not looking for people let me be clear on that. I'm looking for the companies they work for because by identifying the companies that they work for, it will help me to understand that, hey, there are probably and more than likely be positions at these companies for the specific uh, jobs that I'm looking for. So you can quickly just grab and build this list and grab more companies. So that's really the goal for the offline networking that I want you to get. All this is in a task sheet, so it's clearly identified for you. You can rewatch this video if you need to as well. But I've got a lot of homework for you to do and start building this company list.